Hi everyone, so I'm here to just talk about some of the ways you can use the videos that we have on our YouTube channel and how to use them into your everyday classroom instruction. So before we do that, let's talk about how. If you're going to be teaching virtually, the best way to do it is to just share your screen when you have instruction with your students. You can pause, fast forward, rewind, point your little mouse to different things on the screen so that your students are focused and engaged. Other ways you can do it is you can just create an assignment in Google Classroom or on Canvas so the students will watch the video and then afterwards they can answer follow-up questions. For example, how much was this item? How many of these did you see? What color was the box? Which aisle would you put it in? And things like that. The beauty with YouTube is kids can watch it as often as they need to and it's accessible at any time. So let's talk about functional reading goals. So because these are recorded in their actual environments, you'll see different signs, environmental print, different brands, different posters that are there in real life so that your kids can read and verbally communicate them with you. Um, they can identify brands, they can read what's on sale, they can match colors. Functional math is another way to use these videos. We made sure to point out price tags so that the students can round to the next dollar up. They can also add several items together. You can subtract, for example, you can say, okay, we have $5 and we bought something for $2.95. How much change do we have? You can calculate tax, subtract percentages if an item is on sale, or if something was two for $5, how much is it for just one? My favorite way to get our students engaged is using a shopping list. So I would generate the shopping list, review it with the class. I can either work on it as a class together or each student will get an item to look for. And as you play the video, the students can call out or yell or scream or point if they see their item on the screen. And this has been really fun because sometimes if they miss it, you can always just rewind to make sure that they are focusing and seeing the items. You can also use these videos to get students engaged by identifying their preferences. So you can go to the ice cream aisle at Walmart and talk about which ice cream you like, which one you don't like, which one do you want to try. You can tally these, you can collect votes, the students can go out into their home and get information from their family members to see which they like. You can also get kids to increase their functional communication skills. So if you have students who are practicing how to order, why don't you show them one of our fast food videos and they can look at the menu and practice how to order those items. You can just practice together. If you have a student using an assistive technology device, they can type the words in, the phrases in, and use that device to speak for them. So there are millions of ways to use these videos. These are just some that I thought of and we thought of as a team. Just know, send us an email and we'd be more than happy to hear them. We'll share them um, to all of the subscribers just so that we can all collaborate together. Thank you.